good morning to you all today we are going to know another kind of loose connective tissue and that is adipose in my last video i have already explained about areolar tissue in my description box i'll be giving the link of areolar tissue now we are going to know another loose connective tissue that is adipose adipose is also known as fat or fatty tissue as it stores fat as it stores fat it is mainly of it has mainly two types of cells two types of cells the first one is called adipocytes and the another one is called fibroblast adipocyte and fibroblast adipocyte is fat storing cells adipocytes are the fat storing cells they store fat in them their cells are like bigger consisting space right centrally space consisting fat globules in ke beech central space hota hai in which fat globules are found and all kind of cytoplasmic material or organelles are found in their periphery where the space is there small space is there even nucleus is also found in that periphery so if all cytoplasmic uh, organelles or materials are found in their peripheral areas this is adipocytes fibroblast secretes two types of fibers two types of fibers they are collagen and collagen and elastin which is already explained in areolar tissue so these two are secreted by fibroblast but they are very few in adipose tissue the number is very less in adipose tissue so how do they look if we if we talk about uh, this fibro collagen or elastin it is multi layered and this is single un, uh, this is unbranched and this is branched so i'll show you the diagram also once again but now let us go through the about the fat of adipose these are the two types of cells now in adipose tissue two types of fats are found two types of fats are found what are those the first one is yellow fat and the second one is brown fat yellow fat and brown fat this yellow fat is common very common and where this the yellow fat is found right under your skin it is found under the skin and around the organs it is found under the skin and around the organs what is their function they act as an insulator they act as an insulator inke jo functions hain wo insulate karna body ko by providing heat at the same time it also protects our body or organs as they are found around the organs so it acts as a packing tissues so they also provide protection because between the organelles we do not have bones or cartilages so they give framing or packing so that they prevent the organs to be dislocated you can say so this is done by yellow fat which is common at the same time if we go through the diagram of this yellow fat it is same as adipocytes it is same as adipocytes uh, centrally spaced area filled with uh, fat globules and periphery is with cytoplasmic materials or organelles now what is this brown fat brown fat is actually it's not common it is rare and why it looks brown you know because the mitochondria of brown fat has plenty of iron it has plenty of iron and due to that it provides color which is brown which is brown this kind of fat this brown fat is mostly found in infants newly born baby or the small very small child and hibernating animals and it is also found in hibernating 
animals. See, when we feel cold, we shiver. And due to shivering, you know what happens? The muscles contract and generate heat. Our muscles contract and start generating heat and we feel better. But this is not done by infants. This is not done by infants. So what happens? Who provides them heat in extreme cold weather? This is the brown fat which provides them heat. The same is in hibernating animals. Hibernating animals, they go for deep sleep, whole extreme cold weather. And inside the, uh, the uh, or in their, during their deep sleep or hibernation, heat is provided by this brown fat to them for their survival. This infant, you know, as they grow, as the infants grow, they, their uh, brown fat get converted into yellow fat. Slowly, brown fat gets deteriorated and instead of that, yellow fat comes. And then they, which is, uh, uh, this is used as we use at the time of shivering and providing uh, uh, energy, protection and all whatever is done by yellow fat. I told you, if you uh, draw the diagram of yellow fat, it will be like adipocytes. Then how would this brown fat look? See, I'm making you the cells of, I'm drawing and showing you the cells of adipocytes. This is the cells of adipocytes. And as I told you, centrally located fat globules, fat globules are there. And around this, or at the periphery, New uh, cytoplasmic materials are there with nucleus and this is all, this is all around this cells, blood vessels are found. What is found? Blood vessels are found. At the same time, very few, very few fiber cells are also found. This is what multi-layered collagen, multi-layered collagen and single-layered branched elastin fibers are found. So this is the structure of yellow uh, fat or adipocytes. Then how can we draw brown fat? Brown fat can be drawn. They are also bigger cells, oval, mostly spherical in shape. But inside they don't have single space they have multi spaced fat globules like C like this it is found and C and around these cells whatever the spaces are there these spaces are filled with filled with cytoplasmic organelles or nucleus so this is what this is what is called multi multi spaced fat and nucleus or whatever is there uh, in their spaces uh, all kind of cytoplasmic materials are found so this is the structure of brown fat i hope you people have understood it well i made you understand that adipose tissues are also called fat tissues mainly of two type cells adipocytes and fibroblast adipocytes are fat storing cells and fibroblast secretes fibers but very few yellow and white fibers but very few they have two types of fat yellow fat and brown fat yellow fat is very common huh, and act as an insulator protection and energy giving uh, fat but brown fat is rare found in infants and hibernating animals for providing heat so structure also you are knowing, I hope you people have, have understood it well. So please don't forget to write the comments and subscribe this channel for more and more videos of biology. Thank you all of you.